My dad's been mowing. I don't know why he didn't have me do this. He's been mowing and it's so dry and dusty. He's like cake dust. What's up guys? Today I'm out here at the land that I hunt and uh, this piece of property actually used to be part of a golf course but uh, my family was actually able to, to purchase this land and it's it's been a really cool piece of property. I mean my family they we had birthday parties out here and I, we had a church function last year out here. It's just a really unique and cool place to just hang out and spend time. It's one of my favorite places to be. I'm out here today doing some brush hogging and my dad's actually on the mower somewhere around here. We actually have some um, family coming in this weekend. So my dad, we're out here mowing and I'm brush hogging. And uh, I was gonna tell you a little bit about kind of what our plans are for this year and uh, some of the equipment that we use to like keep this place clean and maintained. My dad actually got a skid steer and a 75 horse tractor, some brush hogs and different equipment to keep this place just cleaned up and maintained. You could pretty much be at be here just about every single day just cleaning up as much as it takes. There's so many trees that fall, limbs that fall off the trees and get in the trails and if it rains a lot and the grass grows up like crazy and it floods through here, there's actually uh, a lot of these neighborhoods that are around this property. Pretty much everything drains through this property and my dad actually had a, a dam built over here to help just keep it all everything clean and like where you can actually adjust the level of this pond that's over here next to us but the property consists of I think it's like three or four ponds and these fairways is actually what I'm brush hogging today I've been brush hogging it a few days now but I think in total there's probably four four to five fields or fairways however you want to look at it but I'm really excited about this piece of equipment that we got the other day and it is a no-till drill so my plan is to get all this property that we can pretty much that's plantable all the fields that are plantable um, get that all brush hogged and cleaned up to where we can actually plant some like clover and wheat and different things for this fall and this winter and just continually each year i think it's really going to help uh, draw more deer in here not only that but give them a lot better you know a good a good food source good protein and just keep them healthy and and ho hopefully hold more deer in here this uh, piece of property has a, holds a lot of deer typically mostly just does and fawns but um, i'm really hoping that putting some food in here is going to help keep the bucks in the does really need to be thinned out so kind of my plan this year is to get some does cleared out of here um, try to get as, as, as rid of as many varmints as far as like coyotes and things like that goes but this no-till drill the cool thing about it it, you really all you have to do is just you brush hog your property you really technically don't even have to do that but you can go through and brush hog your property wherever you want to plant and you can set the depth of this drill and it'll actually disc the ground plant the seed and it rolls over it like all in one like all in one swipe pretty much from what i understand i mean i haven't read the manual but uh from what i've understood that's what it does but uh, i'm gonna plan on learning how to really use the thing to to the best of my advantage and we're f not farmers by any means. This is pretty, all of this stuff is pretty much a learning experience. But um, right here behind me, we're actually using a uh, bat wing uh, brush hog. And it actually works really well for this piece of land because these fields are so big and it, it would take so long. I've, I've done it with a small brush hog before and it just, it's pretty time consuming. But with this bat wing brush hog, it works out pretty well. My dad has actually got a uh, an attachment for a skid steer that is actually a brush hog as well. I mean, it it's good for what it for what it can do. I mean, it, it actually attaches to the front, obviously, on the skid steer, so you can actually reach out and brush hog stuff that's hard to reach with this. Um, but really, this bat wing brush hog is like the best way to go. One of my favorite pieces of equipment that we use out here is actually called a mulcher. And this thing attaches, it's a hydraulic, uh, it works off hydraulics, but it attaches to the front of the skid steer. And I'm telling you, this thing can like tear stuff up. Uh, you can 
knock down trees you can chip i mean the only the only downside to it is it make, puts a bunch of wood chips everywhere in but besides that i mean you can tear up stuff if it's if it's little saplings and stuff it just tears right through it cedar trees it it's crazy how good that thing works you can make paths to your stands if it's if it's too thick um it's just all around it's just a it's just an awesome piece of equipment another piece of equipment that we use around here is actually a, a grappler so if you cut down trees or anything we actually cut some uh, firewood here last year cut some trees up and stuff you can actually pick that up and uh, grab the tree by the trunk and it actually has these hydraulic claws that grabs onto the tree trunk and we can move it around and put it in a pile or whatever but that actually works really well uh, one piece of equipment that we've actually got that we haven't used yet but we plan on using is actually um, it's a piece of equipment that actually you can actually transplant plant trees you can actually take a if we have good oak trees we've left there's a bunch of small good oak trees around here that we didn't mulch down or brush hog because we're actually wanting to take them and move them to a different location so we try to save most of the all the good trees that we want to keep so that's a really handy uh, tool once we actually get to use it i mean we know basically how it works we haven't actually used it yet to move these trees around but uh, we're actually wanting to plant probably some fruit trees and things like that too so that's going to be really handy anyways guys just kind of wanted to tell you kind of what i'm doing to prepare for deer season i still have to go around to all my tree stands that i have hung up i'm probably going to put a new few new spots up but i need to make sure my tree stands are all strapped down good and everything make sure the ladders are good and this one tree stand i have over here the squirrels just they just love making a nest in it for whatever reason and the ants get in it it's I don't know what what it is. It just like attracts them. So I got that to do and uh, put out the cameras, put out some corn, see what we got going. But um, thanks for watching the video, and I hope to see you on the next one. See ya.